Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You were both the fuck is an elf barbarian? In the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land, now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elamon, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Barb. <laughs> Let's go with Calamastia? Calamastia. No. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscar. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him, too. True story. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Let's go to the fucking training ground, yeah? Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all oh. of whom raise their weapons and charge. We might have fucked up, y'all. So, what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? <laughs> you conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. By the way, this is probably the only time you'll catch me playing Dungeons and Dragons. Let's do another game. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. Let the boy model it's what's up. Well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely Bruh. any loot survived. Come on. Don't worry, Elamon guy. We all make mistakes. Elamon nods. Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. Bang, bang. What's next? Honestly, they put a lot into this game. So, ah, I, I, I don't know. Guess I don't it's know. time to free some peeps. Let's I feel like I'm just wasting time here at this point, but I'm with it. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small <laughs> elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. 
He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Hmm. Apparently, I have bread. I try to tempt the little bastard out with it. He sticks out his tongue, finding your offering disgusting. Ugh. Hey, model, thank you for the host. Definitely appreciate it. Alright, fuck this. Intimidate this nigga. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Yo, we lit! can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So oh, I see. this is called a skill challenge. Ooh. Where you try to use Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works? is I shove my arm up your ass into your head and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Damn. Neither do I. The dragonkin pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. Alright. Let's see. You're short. I say, but you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. This shit is so, violent. Dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless Her face is so priceless, yo. And carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? <laughs> uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma go ahead and roll a small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as hands trembling it hands you the keys then it dies of fear what well, damn awesome. every day yeah. we lit yo go team why don't you start unlocking the prisoners i'm on it as you free them the prisoners run away from you in fear what's next it's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders. <laughs> I, mean, I they just put a lot into it, which I really appreciate. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire uh, immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, I was about to say he just did acid blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia, what'll it be? Mm. I like annihilation strike. Listen to that. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step. You trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Come on, boy. Come oh, on. No. Three. 
Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. Bruh. I am so sorry. Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? Hey, jump in front of that motherfucker. Right, jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade. Well, fuck! you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his head. Fuck it. We going all in. We about to die. We might as well go all in. Durg. Dur Dur face his head. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh no. Yellow. Come on. Eleven. You swing catching Durgaron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole. He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So mean. Well, I'm we, sorry, we try. We try. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgaron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess. I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. My nigga, you ain't got no legs. I, what are you coming back to? What I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Actually, yeah, I bet. Sorry, I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah, I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. See, what I like about that is they didn't have to put that in the game at all. That was literally something they didn't have to do, but they made it really enjoyable and they actually added some depth into it, which is why I fuck with Square Enix. They make super good games. You know, the Final Fantasy series, First Life is Strange was great, and this one just feels so good. They literally didn't have to do that. They didn't have to go all out with that. It kind of makes me want to play it again, you know. Maybe I can get the, the a good ending. Is that Nathan? What have you got here? Twitch. Nathan has been bullied. Tell me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Want to take this elsewhere, guys? The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. Ooh. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need? Oh, bruh, come on! Wow. Dick move, Nathan. I, I just tried to stand up for you. At the shipyard, when your dad closed it down, and you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. Nah, fuck that nigga. You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! 
Hey, if you don't take the time to stand back and watch, you miss some of life's finer moments. Like... Booyah! That. <laughs> that took me months to put together! Quit the team, Twitch. Or next time it'll be worse. Go to hell. They think it's like a dick. You should be ashamed. Bitch, you ain't stepping and do nothing either. What does God do with me? Is that Rachel Amber? I don't look like her. I'm not sure. I do beseech you. Okay, that's Rachel Amber. That no, no, that's a um, chick that got pregnant, I believe. Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Oh. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Nah, fuck that nigga. Miranda's an idiot, because falling in love is stupid. What is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15. So your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, okay. Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Loki would love to be at a school like this, though. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. Should be doable, right? Hey now, sharing is caring. I have feelings about this. Most of them are. <laughs> oh, wait, that's different. reading all of this shit but <laughs> Rachel 
Rachel looks weird. so happy here. It was never really confirmed with whether or not Chloe and Rachel had a thing going on, but they definitely were pretty close in that amount of time they spent together. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. Should be life is drama. Sweet caller, Pepe. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Oh, wait, we get the graffiti? Let's do it. Save my life. Get some ink. But that's what I do in games like these. Like, I have to look at everything. Like, they put so much time into, you know, just adding a little stuff they don't need to it. And that's what I like about the game. It makes it Must cool. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. <laughs> Logan, guess who? Logan. Guess who? Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> you ain't played a four-hour episode again. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Know about that eye? That is a hell of a battle scar. Can you cover it up with some makeup? Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. I really made a choice in the matter, but let's do it. All right, fuck you, brother. Let's go to. Sure you don't want to just grab the bus or nope if we're gonna go rogue we're doing it right well what the hell am i getting into here this is the kind of stuff i only dreamed of doing as a kid 
not even a kid, my teenage years. I came close to, close to something like this a few times, but you know, never really uh, did anything too crazy. Notice she did say Seattle. The view's amazing. I swear to God, Elliot is just another. I can't remember his name now. I think I said Nathan before and it was wrong. Or was his name Ethan? I don't fucking Rachel know. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. I can't tag anything. Just another typical day, skipping school with Rachel Hamber. Things heavier than it looks. Yes, I should. Oh wait, no, no, no! I wanted to check who was back there. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. I screwed Play up. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? So, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. Yeah. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? I guess you could say I'm good with people. Yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. <laughs> oh, shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. Okay. I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I've played this dumbass game before too. We should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Hmm. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Katmandu. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. 
<laughs> What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? I'm gonna go ahead and say she's a Leo. Ambidextrous thing could be true. I'm not too sure I didn't pay too attention to her movements or anything the first time I met her. New York, but it's like, what is she doing in Arcadia Bay? That's that's the only thing. What are you doing in Arcadia Bay? I, I don't know what to go for. You seem more like a Cali girl than me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long hey! West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Alright, let's do... We're gonna start things off with the truth. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called The Misfits. Impressive. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Mm -hmm. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Uncle Swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Okay. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay, you say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. That place is a hellhole filled with shit where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, the Miss... I'm gonna have to call lie on that one. You don't think I can rock? On the contrary, <clears throat> you absolutely rock. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. She's good. So, if my math is correct... You told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this Very game. true. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, 
I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. <laughs> and rum is delicious. This okay. chick young. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Honestly, it's hard. Like, because this is a storytelling game. You basically, you kind of go through it. And you do it. So sometimes it's really hard to, like, talk over this. Because you kind of get sucked into the story a lot. I don't know if you know what I mean. But it's just, like, one of those things. This is, this is why I love games like this. And Life is Strange definitely excels at telling a really good story. Hey. Want to listen? If they don't kiss right here, I want a refund. <laughs> so... And not to mention the soundtracks they have for the game are amazing, hands down. One of the best soundtracks. I guess I'll just give this a second to play and then uh, we can go on about our business. bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Oh, she fell out of here. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it. Fuck it! It's weird. You can see, like, all the things Chloe basically picked up from Rachel Ambo. You know, the way she looks, the words she uses, the bracelet, the uh, whole, like, train area thing. She really just picked up a lot from her. This isn't exactly the place I thought we would go to. We might get there later on. Who knows? But...
<laughs> nah, dog, it's called Before the Storm for a reason. Hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. This game involves spying on people from afar. Of course I got all the episodes, bruh. Who do you think you're talking to? I love Life is Strange. Well, I have all the episodes in the sense that I'll have them when they come out. I have like the whole thing, so. That blows. Well, shit. <laughs> just you <need> again. <laughs> I mean, that was my last quarter. I would. You quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah. Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Wait, let's do this shit. Damn, that's an old tree. Wait, does this sign say butt rot? How does it say that at? Oh, it does say butt rot. Right, let's see. Dwight Mueller really killed it with this statue of an explorer guy. Where are all my explorer ladies at, though? Probably at home, washing laundry and spitting out. This Blackwall guy sure liked founding stuff that was already there. Founders keepers, I guess. So, like, my man's Christopher Columbus. Right, how are we supposed to do this? I, cause, uh... Huh. Looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Okay. This whole day is out of order, but in the best possible way. All right, we're not sitting on the bench. All right, if we can walk around. We should be fine. If Max were here, she'd probably take a black and white photograph and call it "Innocence Lost" or some shit. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Oh, wait, maybe. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. But, uh, okay. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self respect. The then them birds just came right. Oh, fuck. Bye, you fools. Go to the rings reference. Yes, I'm a nerd. And then the squirrels just fucking come back. Are you serious? Alright, whatever. <clears throat> Yuck. Cliche much, A W and O L. If you put them together, they spell A wall. B P plus A J. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. Damn, dog. That's what it's like to be married. Damn, and I was having a nice picnic. Damn, dog, you really fucked up. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not. What kind of food? <laughs> this place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. Y'all ignorant as shit. What's worse than groveling for change? 
Groveling for change and failing. There's got to be something freeing about being able to build your home wherever you are, from whatever is around you. Mm, I feel that. My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. Whoa, that's badass. I kind of remember that temple yep, from the first game. Official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. Yeah, let's see. It wasn't really much we got from over here, so let me make sure I can take one look around. Make sure we ain't forgetting nothing. All right, it might be something out on the other side. <clears throat> I don't want to head down there just yet. Okay, can't go that way. Shit. All right, my hope is I want to talk to her and hopefully it doesn't like ruin anything. That's the only thing I don't want to happen. And I'm pretty sure this 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 does nothing. I just sit on a bench. Oh, she was gonna say something. All right. Um, puzzle, puzzle, puzzles. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. Get out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self-respect. I'm hoping maybe this changes something, maybe not. Depending on who's there. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Okay, we, we already established that, but how the fuck am I gonna get this? Wonder if I can get that quarter out of the viewfinder. Sure, that's what we've been trying to do this whole time. No, I can't even talk to them What's no more. worse than groveling for change? Groveling for change and healing. They got a knife too. Can we use that? Fix the viewfinder. And maybe I can ask Rachel. I gotta talk to Rachel and see if she is. She gotta have something. Because there's nothing else here. Unless I'm just blind. <laughs> hey, yo. I mean, sometimes I do like to just sit around and just chill. Don't think about anything. I'm just the way I am. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? Alright, that could work. I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Damn. Yo, my only thing is, is like if Nathan sitting there getting bullied, and then he gonna say something about the bull having a deadbeat dad. What what you want me to do? You want me to help the nigga? Why ain't nobody else help him? It was like six other people around. But I ain't see not one person step up. But, you know, when I don't do anything, it's a problem with me. I don't get it. Fuck Nathan. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm? 
At least we helped somebody out. I really could give two shits about Nathan, to be honest. First got power, activate. A boast, so I'll let you do it for me. Chloe Price, you are truly the viewfinder whisperer. I stand in awe of your powers. Rachel smells like Jasmine. Why well, had to be that Rachel out of all things? That's actually, I'm tilted now. I'm tilted. And only a handful of people will understand why that just tilted me. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Yeah! Straight up, yo! <laughs> Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. They totally stole my third grade art project. Wow, you made that? Can't you tell? It does have a certain give zero fucks quality that I recognize. <sighs> Think this guy's married to a nutritionist? He's all like, I'm not allowed to eat this stuff at home. So, I'm so glad I became a lawyer. I love getting paid in fries. Do you think he represents the hamburglar? <laughs> Wouldn't he be paid in hamburgers then? Shit, you're right. <laughs> hey, let's see what else we got. Hmm. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? No matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic, but also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> hmm. What's going on with these two? And the Lord saideth, Thou shalt make a burnt offering of your firstborn son. Well, damn. Who are you talking to, Dad? No one, son. <laughs> now, lean into the grill and see if the fire started. Further. <laughs> Further. Wow. That was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. This is fun. Who's next? The lady in white? Oh, wait, no. Okay, there we go. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Yo, she got a whole sleeve. That's cool. Jackpot. I kind of want to sleep. Let's make out session in three, two, one. Yes, yes, she did. This is a prequel. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey, I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hmm? Was that her mom or her, no, her dad, hey. maybe? Are you, you all right? That's her dad. What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to What's show up, James? the delinquent at a party. Be my guest. How gracious of you. Yeah, like, 
Because we seen a lady in a wet already. Nothing occurred. And then this guy comes up. He wearing a business suit like, you know, most attorneys do. And the way she reacted, she said her dad was an attorney. And I'm guessing, you know, that's the case. They have a bottle of wine. Uh, I currently don't have anything up, so I don't know what that was. Or we could go try to find a liquor store in Pargan's Lover. Thank you for following. You should bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Oh, 100% better than Andromeda's uh, face. Joke. That's literally, I own Andromeda, but that's literally um, the only reason I haven't played it. Played it yet. Oh my god. Holy shit. Talk about committing to a performance. Just take it and go. Yep. Oh, thank God. Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. Yeah, I'll, I'll get right on that. Can we grab it? Are you getting help? Y yeah, I'll, I'll get right on that. Oh, come on, bruh. Alright, alright. What, what, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? I obviously can't get the drink, and then I don't know what's going to happen if I leave. Can't leave without the wine. All right, so guess we only got one thing to do. All right, wait, 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 wait. Let me just make sure. Can't do anything with that. Rachel is waiting for me to make my move. Are you getting help? All right, do I just click, fucking click W? I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! I, I've, I've seen this kind of thing before. This woman clearly okay, I has probably a shouldn't. wound that needs to be sterilized. Do you happen to have any alcohol? I didn't see a wound. Look closer. In the meantime, I'll search for the Ah, uh, I screwed up that one. Hold on. There's something off about this. Are you girls putting us on? I wish. Rachel, run. What the hell? Fuck it. We out. I should have pressed W. That would have been the one. Hundred percent. Mm -hmm. So, maybe your acting could use a little work, but at least you committed to the performance. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. <laughs> I am excessively yeah. sober. We all gotta right. drown our sorrow somehow. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. This episode is long as shit, yeah. But I'm with it. All the way. Oh, I gotta stretch. I actually feel like we might be coming closer to the end of the episode, so. It shouldn't be too long now. Maybe like one or two more segments. This might be actually be the end of the segment, maybe. <laughs> Amen. I don't know what you're waiting for. Life is Strange is such a good story. It's such a good game. I don't understand how you could not have all episodes. Shit, I, I even own the soundtrack. That's how much I love the game. The soundtrack hey, in this game is amazing.
Okay, this is the uh, the area Chloe and Max goes to after the towards the end of the first episode, I believe. Or somewhere hey, in the, the second episode. Trash. It's been a while. Yeah, an awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? At twenty dollars an episode? It wasn't even twenty dollars an episode. It was like twenty five dollars for the first one. And then this one was this one is only like sixteen. Cause it's only three episodes, and then if you pre order it, you gotta. You said you're gonna get an extra episode with Max in it. Chloe, I'd really like some space right now. Well, damn. Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. No, I don't understand. You can't just turn on me for no reason. I'm sorry, turn on you? I guess I forgot. It's always about how you feel, isn't it? Sad Chloe's fucking sad again. Oh. Maybe you should try giving a shit about other people for once. Are you serious right now? Fuck! <laughs> oh. uh. Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. There's so many references in this game, and I love it. Home run! Can I see? Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all. With the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. But seriously, fuck you. Great. Smashy. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait. Don't go. Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? I see why Rachel went missing. It was this bitch Chloe fault. <laughs> ah, let's see. I mean, fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? Exactly. You know, like a friendship, but more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just. Today was the best day I've had since, since my best friends. Died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize whatever's going on between us is special. Yeah, best friends. Come on, say something, Chloe. I. I <laughs> you eat your pussy. <laughs> Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and 
time. Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. Damn, just like that. <laughs> Guess we getting some smashy. Fuck this place. Yo, let's fuck up that mannequin. Nah, fuck that bottle. And they all say smash. You know she's fake. Y you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Yeah! Fuck off, Rachel. never understood your heart on for cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna <laughs> leave when I needed you most. Fucking cameras. What? You can't hit on Chloe. Come on, dog. Ugh. Kinda, uh, I guess. Oh yeah, fuck this too. Okay. What? Yeah. AKA step douche. If you want to rip a family of Max was the main character of uh, the last. Life, the first Life is Strange, she did, you know, all the camera work and all the pictures and stuff. Fuck you, David. And Chloe had all the colorful hair. Yeah, Max did the back in time shit. Dad. Oh, is that her dad's car? Bruh, this just gets sadder and sadder. Do I have to?
It's kind of hard to watch. I think that might be the end of episode one. Maybe not. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Bruh. Not like this, not again. Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? Okay, this poster is different now. What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. <laughs> I don't feel drunk. They got all I gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. I guess I did that? Sometimes, people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it. Didn't end the same as last time, but oh. <laughs> Bruh. Soundtrack for this game is oh so perfect. like a bunch of foreshadowing and symbolism in this game. It's kind of awkward. I kind of wonder how things have been if they like released this game first and then released Life is Strange.
you came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Okay, it's episode. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. See? Alright. Easy peasy. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought, oh, I, thought I could catch okay, him or so something. Oh, okay, so that's why she came here. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And, and that's why she wanted to use the thing so bad. His fucking face again. You kind of didn't see that coming. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I, I thought of him, I wanted to. I don't know. I'm swing. trying to. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10, and it started raining, and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad... He carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat. And how calm he was. And the sound of his voice and... Yellow. He was just so strong, you know. I uh, probably should have did that. I probably should have took your advice. But I didn't want you to be right. That's I'm all. I'm you. petty. I didn't want you to be right. Completely. Here. <laughs> Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty no i mean it whatever's going on between us it's intense and new and awesome and you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too and i treated you like shit courage i don't know if i'd call it that or like blind desperation and maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know that I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Only because you showed up at the last minute, and... See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came <laughs> along with me, no questions <laughs> asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with
fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. I like that plan. I'm with it. Okay. <laughs> what are you? See now I feel bad because I gave you power and Sage is going to be upset that you timed him out. <laughs> Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you. <laughs> Hey man, what if that's not a forest fire? That's not safe. Come on. Yo! Yo, it's time to go. I was never here. I ain't see a goddamn thing. Bruh! Alright, they start. Okay. Well, fuck. Yo, this bitch set a whole forest on fire. And that's. That gotta be Aaron Burr's dad, I guess. Rachel Amber's dead, and I'm assuming she just saw everything. That's uh, the chick he was cheating her with. We don't know her face, so it's a lot more story to be left. Alright, that was the, the episode one. And if I gotta give it to him, it was a pretty good episode. I don't know. I could just skip this, but this soundtrack is like so mellow, I kinda just wanna sit here and chill. Maybe talk it over for a little bit. So. This is going on YouTube, so I gotta, I guess I gotta do like a sort of YouTube outro, even though I'm on Twitch. So, um, I'm just give like my thoughts or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully, 
it's like all right over the music <clears throat> Alright, so that was the end of episode 1, and in my opinion, it was a pretty good episode. I definitely enjoyed it. It definitely put me in my feelings straight from the beginning, and I think this story is pretty good so far. We had a forest fire at the end there. That, that was uh, actually pretty crazy. There's like some, you know, plot lines going on. Not sure how a few characters are going to be, you know, portrayed throughout the rest of the last two episodes. And then I'm not sure what the special episode we get is going to be about. So everything is going to be interesting to really see and come about. But just off the bat, this game has blown me away. It was so cool to go back and we got another Life is Strange game again. I wasn't sure how they were going to do it or how they were going to, like make the second game after it was announced, but so far I'm glad they did and I don't regret anything at all. It's pretty good. Um, I mean, that's all I really got to say about this is... I don't know, I'm just excited for the second episode and like I said, if you can, I'll be streaming the second episode on Twitch whenever they decide to release it and I will have my Twitch in the down below in the description so be sure to follow me on twitch so you won't miss a moment or whether you're watching on youtube either way it kind of works but i think that's enough for this bam all right so you attack 61 percent. i'm with it i'm with it okay all right 61 percent again you were kind of joyce actually 88 percent people were defending nathan that's interesting I don't know, I guess if they felt bad for him or something like that, but I'm with the 12%. Fuck Nathan. You know what? I'm pretty sure you know what it is. 88% of the people that defended Nathan ain't black. Because they don't understand. You don't say that to a black man. Yo, you missed it. Nathan straight told my mans. He was like, he said, something, something. You got a deadbeat dad. And I was just like, that's some stereotypical ass shit. Fuck Nathan. And 73% of you told Rachel Amber you were more than friends because y'all a bunch of horny teenagers. Damn, 40% of people didn't listen to Skip the Demo? Okay. Mm -hmm. This is almost probably the closest decision you was gonna get. We probably could have took the money, but I don't know. It is what it is. You didn't purchase pot from Frank? Guess we could have. You read Joyce's self help book. I Man, I don't know why that one was such a big decision, to be honest. No, oh, fuck Nathan. Nathan's an asshole. Okay, 70%. I mean, with this one, they really didn't give you a choice as soon as you, like, I don't know. Because I can see why it was uh, in the dresser. I don't know why it was in the dresser. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, we could have did this. But that's, that's if we took the money, so. I don't know. You told Ellie you want to play with him, but I'm kind of like digging LA. He literally is just another Ethan. You told Skip you liked his demo. You finished the tabletop game with Steph and Mikey. Not me. To be honest, the tabletop game was actually pretty fun and one of the highlights of episode one. I really enjoyed it. They went all out with it. So I fucks with it. You didn't sabotage Victoria's homework. We should have after that bullshit she texted. It's always like... Well, Victoria is it's a moment where you kind of like feel some type of sincerity for her or you know you don't want to be as mean as you could be to Victoria but then later on she gives you a reason that makes she she gives you a reason that makes her regret you not being mean to her You told Rachel falling in love is stupid. You told Rachel you believe in love. Ah, hopefully that one doesn't come to bite us back in the ass. You shared that bus for it. <laughs> Who's the one percent that didn't do that? And then you jumped out of a train. You didn't buy no gas. Look, I, I had a chance to steal two hundred dollars. Babylon said I should have did it, but I decided not to. No one steals from me. 
I want my fucking money!